This video is going to show you how to save a customized template from some of your most favorite plugins for Final Cut Pro so that you don't need to keep changing the settings over and over again. Here on my timeline, I just want to apply this call to action from the pack MTuber 3 from my friends over at Motion VFX. This video is not sponsored, but I will have a link to this pack down below. If I go ahead and push play, we have this beautiful little animation. It's got a place for a channel icon. It's got some nice text. And of course, it has this gorgeous animation of the subscribe button being hit. Every time you add this to the timeline, you may want to go over to the right side and change all of these different settings they have. For example, we could change the text to say the final cut bro. I could bring in a channel icon with this drop zone and scale that down. And we could even go in and change the subscriber number counter. However, if you're like me, you don't want to have to change these settings every single time. Now, I have found with some templates out there that you are unable to jump inside of Motion to change the template to your liking and then to save that to Final Cut Pro. However, I just discovered with Motion VFX, they were kind enough to leave that option available to you and it makes your life so much easier. And here's why, even if you have zero Apple Motion experience, all you need to do is right click on any of the templates that you want to adjust and then select Open in Motion. From there, go to the very top of the layer stack and select Project. Jump on over into the inspector and in here under the Project tab, you should see all of the options laid out exactly like they are in Final Cut Pro. So I could drop in my channel icon, I could scale it down, I could go into the text fields and change them to say the Final Cut Bro. I could even go as far to change what the subscribe text says, so I'll have it start with saying subscribed and then I'll change it to say unsubscribed. And when we do that, we'll notice that the text is overlapping, so we could just dial back the text size and we could go in and change all of the colors to our liking. So now that I've made those changes, I'll just push Command S, which will allow us to save or to publish over to Final Cut. Then in this instance, we'll want to save it as a duplicate. We don't want to overwrite the original project. Go ahead and change the template name to whatever you like. Now, I strongly recommend that you actually add an emoji character to the beginning which will place it at the very top of the stack. So in this instance, I'm just gonna add in a little star and I got that a little emoji keyword with control command space. Then we can go ahead and just type in the final cut bro lower third or whatever you wanna call it. Then throw it into any category that you like. You could even throw it in the original MTuber 3 category or you could create a new category. In this example, I'll just go ahead and drop it in my faves category. We can leave the theme at whatever we like. We could throw it into a new theme, but then from there, we'll go ahead and push publish. Now, if we jump inside a final cut, I can scroll into my favorites category and see this call to action that I just created. Now I can drop this on the timeline and you'll notice that all of those changes have been applied. So as you can see, this could save you an enormous amount of time rather than needing to jump to old projects, copy, paste it into the new project or any other workarounds people have come up with. If this video was helpful to you, you may want to check out this video where I show you 10 of my favorite paid plugins for Final Cut Pro. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.